G'day guys, welcome to the channel, my name's Tim, and on today's episode we're taking a look at Bitcoin, and specifically this little section that we're in now, where we've just bounced off the 50 week moving average. And we're going to take a look at the RSI and history to see if there's any particular patterns that may be playing out that we've seen before. Okay, let's get into it. So what I've got on the screen here is Bitcoin from the 2013-2014 cycle, the 2017-2018 cycle, 2019-2020, and 2021. And I've put a box around the section that we're currently looking at. This is the point where the price has bounced off the 50-week moving average, which is this blue shaded section. So you can see here in 2014, we kind of got close to it and we bounced up and then we crashed through it. In 2018, we bounced off it, we go up and then we crashed through it. In 2019, we bounced off, we came up, we crashed through it. And in 2020, we've bounced off and we've gone up. Now this chart I'm looking at is about a day old because it's a daily chart, um, but I will bring up some data showing the current price action uh, in a moment as well with, a, with some more detail. Now let's have a look at the RSI, the Relative Strength Index. Now, what we're looking for here is trends, because the trend is your friend, and the trends will tell us what happened in the past, and that will give us an indication of what may happen in the future. So, if we have a look at the 2013-2014 cycle, we can see that the RSI was way overbought right at the peak of that cycle, and then it came down along at, at the basically the exact same point when we bounced off the 50 week moving average, it came down to this point and I've put a red dotted line here to show us that particular point. And we did an ABC correction, essentially. We came down, we went up to only this section here, and then we crashed down again until we bottomed out. And you can see how that correlates to the price action uh, in that cycle. Now, if we have a look at the 2017, 2018 run, it did exactly the same thing. Look at this, the RSI is quite high, it's overbought, and then at the peak of the cycle, uh, we're, at this very, we're at this point here when it's overbought, and then it came down to the same dotted line, it's gone up, and then it's gone down again in this ABC correction. It looks almost identical to the shape that we saw in 2013, 2014. And again, it came down to the dotted line. And this point when it comes down is the same point that we bounced off the 50 week moving average. We come up and then we bottom out at point C. Now very quickly having a look at the 2019-2020, it looks similar but slightly different. It's not as overbought as it was in those previous runs, but it still is in this overbought territory. We came down slightly below the dotted line. We go up a little bit higher than we have in previous occasions. And then we bottomed out very, very quickly as part of the COVID crash. So it still did that A, B, C correction shape. Now, let's have a look at 2021 and see how that compares to those previous cycles. So you can see that we're, again, starting in this overbought section. And now the actual peak of this overbought section lines up with this section here in the price when we reached 40K. So there was a little bit of bearish divergence in that this was going down as the price was going up. But we did see that with the price action because the price did slow down and, and, and round over rather than you know spike up to, a, to an absolute peak up here. We're following the same pattern so far that we've followed in the past. This A, B. Now that the C leg has not happened yet and it may not happen, we, we can't guarantee what will happen in the future. But so far, the same pattern is playing out. We've gone from overbought, we've come down to the dotted line, just like we did here in 2014, just like we did here in 2018. We've bounced up to a similar level that we've, we have been on all of those occasions also. So the question is, will we follow the trend that we've seen in these three other cycles of this ABC correction with the RSI and the ABC correction bouncing off the 50 week moving average and then going through it? Now, what will happen next? We don't know, but the trend is your friend and you want to put the probability in your favor. So this is something to watch out for. So if you've seen my other video, you'll know what this, this chart is all about, but I've got the 2013 cycle in red, the 2017 cycle in orange, and the 2021 cycle in blue. And they're measured from the dates of the macro market corrections. So check out this video up here if you'd like to see more information. But what it shows us is that 
at this particular point in the in the cycle, when we've we've gone up, we've had the bullish momentum, the bearish turn, and now we've turned around, and now we've got bullish momentum again. We've now gone up about 46, 47 percent. Now that is consistent with what we did in 2018 and what we did in 2014. Uh, the 2013 2014 cycle. So you can see we went up about 57% at this same point, and we went up about 52 53% in 2017, and now we're at about 46 47%. And we may go up slightly higher, who knows? We'll have to see how this plays out. But so far, everything is consistent, and you can see that we did this A, B, C pattern. A, B, C pattern. A, B. So we'll see what happens next. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you like the content, please subscribe and like and share, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can check me out on Twitter. That's all from now. My name's Tim and cheers.